Yes, Matt, about Tagamola, just how far have you seen him come since he first got here? Well, a long ways. I mean, first his body's changed, you know, and I don't know what old coach said, but his body's changed. Um, you know, his attitude's changed. You, you know, it's all, it's not new to him anymore. So I think he's like the rest of us. He's done a good job and uh, has made a lot of improvement, and uh, we need him to. We need his depth. What's different about this spring compared to springs previous? Um, Springs here, I think the first spring you're learning. You know, I think last year we were still learning. I think this year we're still learning. So I think there's still some learning curve involved. Um, I think the expectations of what the players expect is higher. I think their standards are higher um, because of what's been done. So I, I think the attitude and, and what our players expect out of spring practice has been a lot lot different and, and I think they expect a lot of themselves they go hard uh, take a lot of reps and, and uh, you know so I think for me I think our attitudes of our players have their expectations have changed. Coach What's Campbell the rattled off a couple people that stood out and Greg Eifert was one of the first what what's he shown to maybe help st stabilize that safety spot? Well he's really kind of a veteran guy you know in fairness he, he, he was at you know uh, Ole Miss uh, had some playing there um, you know, growing up, all of those things, went to junior college. So he's an older guy, even though he's new in the system. So he has a sense of maturity. And I think with that, I think with his, those guys come in here with a story, um, they, they look straight ahead. Like they're going full speed as fast as they can go. And that's what you appreciate about a guy like him. He, he's, he's in the office every single minute of every day, begging to learn film, to study the game. Um, because at one point in time, he, you know, it was gone for him for a second. And I think those guys that have stories that come in here are, um, you know, a, a tremendous attribute to himself of his work ethic and, and what he brings to the table. What do you, you say, like Gone? White has been able to learn and, and absorb the reps he got last year in the bowl game. <clears throat> well, I think the bowl game was big for Lawrence. I think it gave him a little bit of confidence that he could go out and do some stuff. Uh, I think the experience of being in there, you know, on game day, uh, game reps, game speed, uh, has surely helped him. And now he's getting, you know, he's getting reps with the ones. And uh, I think it just, you know, I think it just kind of said, hey, I can do this. And, and now he's working and getting in there with the, the first group and playing. Is there a player or a position group that has surprised you this spring? I'm surprised. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I'm surprised by any of it. I, I think our uh, I think our D line, uh, the depth has been good. I, I think those guys have come along. I, I think um, our linebacking crew is young. We're trying to find some folks in there. I'm sure Coach has talked about that. I think they've done a good job. They've worked hard. Uh, the secondary, the corners, you know, they're getting a lot of reps. I think that group, um, you know, and the young safeties, I, I think, have been a group that. You know, have continued to get better. So I don't think I'm surprised by anyone. I, I think the biggest thing is is they've just continued to grow and get better. And there's a lot of young faces. I mean, that's what you really re realize when you're out there. At that middle spot, he, you know, Coach White maybe a week or so ago said, as of that day, you probably wouldn't have been ready to play any of the four guys competing. Mm -hmm. But Coach Campbell mentioned to Ryan Vance. Have you seen some progress in the last? Yeah, couple he really of years? has. He, you know, uh, took advantage of some reps on Saturday. Did a great job again today. Um, but I think, again, you're seeing the process of, of getting the repetitions and playing. And, you know, there was kind of an open door for him to get in there and play. And now he's in there playing like crazy and getting some confidence about himself. So, yeah, he, he's really stepped up his practice in the last couple of days. Is that the big thing with maybe middle linebacker, that end spot with Emmy and Leo and then those safety spots is just rep more than anything? I mean, well, sure, because those guys are all new faces. I mean, you, you look out there, I mean, it's, you know, sometimes you just kind of, wow, like it, the first group, you know, Ray and those guys have played a lot and all that. But then you know, even guys like Matt Leo and, and you know, Tymar, I mean, all those guys are new faces. The safeties, yeah, they played in the bowl game, but they, they were not playing a lot all season long. The corners, you know, if, if Peeve and Payne aren't in there or D. Ruth, why, those are all brand new faces. So. You go from a group that's really experienced to a group of just young faces that really the reps they got during bowl practice were important and, and critical to what we're doing. So they're learning and getting better as we go. I, I really like our attitude and our effort. You know, I, I think there's there's some rooms we have to, some areas we have to improve for sure. But I really like the attitude and effort of our practices. I, I think our guys go out there to compete. And some of it's really good. Some of it's not so good. That's spring ball. And uh, we have to clean up the not so good. But uh, the attitude and effort and, and uh, 
the want to is, is really, really high right now, I think. And I, I, that's what I like the best about this crew. Seems like there's been a lot of talk about some defensive linemen emerging. Does that allow you guys to be more multiple and switch between three and four? Oh, yeah. It's allowed us to play. I mean, we played a lot of four men. We've played a lot of four man front. And um, we'll continue to play that. And we've been able to mix in the three man front. And it's given us some, you know, it, it's, it gives us a little bit of, um, you know, uh, flexibility in what we're trying to do fresh bodies up front and you know I mean linebackers it just it allows you to do some different things that you know a year ago we probably couldn't have done. Joel was obviously the glue guy both in where he was on the field and yeah. emotionally. Who is that glue guy for you guys right well, now? Well I think that's I think that's a great question. That's a question that I would ask our team and our defense. You know I, I think that's I don't know and I think the interesting thing I share with our staff I, I don't think we knew that Joel was the glue guy a year ago at this point in time that that guy was trying to figure out how to line up a Mike linebacker but he had the inside part of it that came out as it went along that you really kind of knew like hey this 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 guy's the real real deal and I think there'll be somebody emerge and I think it'll be exciting for all of us to find out who that really is going to be um, but I, I don't think that guy has emerged yet. And uh, I look back at a spring ago, and we all remember how we finished. We all remember how, you know, this guy was leading and this guy was playing great football. And I, I think, you know, the most important thing is our guys continue to improve and get better. And then one of those seniors, those seniors this summer, they're going to have to figure out who's going to be the glue guy. And, and uh, somebody will step up. There'll be somebody, and there may be two buddies, and there may be three bodies uh, that get in there and step up. But we're searching for that. That'll be key. Uh, if there was one thing that I would say that, that our defense had a year ago, it was glue. It was Jack Spreen. It was JD. It was uh, you know the safeties. It was all those guys. They all had some stuff to them that just, you know, we're going to do this. And that's what this senior class, the sand for them is running through the hourglass. And, they're going to have to figure out which ones, if not all of them, are going to be the glue of this defense. Alyssa.